Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Woody Herman speaking, presenting the band that plays the blues, playing Blue Flame. <laughs> Well, 15 years, more or less, anyway. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The makers of the new Rinso are proud to present the mayor of the town, starring Lionel Barrymore, with his guests, Jane Withers and Charlie Ruggles. You've heard me say it before, but I think it needs repeating. You can lead a soap to water, but you can't always make it give good, rich suds. In these days, you can't afford to use a soap that lets you down. Our new soapy, rich Rinso is what you want. Man, those Rinso suds are suds. Why, just a little Rinso goes such a long way, you can hardly believe your eyes. In the dishpan, on wash day, and for all the soap and water jobs around the house, new Rinso is terrific, believe me. Remember, just a little of the new Rinso gets out more dirt. And now, the mayor of the town, starring Lionel Barrymore with Jane Withers as Susie and Charlie Ruggles as Mr. Robertson. Oh, oh, good evening. <clears throat> good evening, Mayor. You uh, mind if I sit down? Oh, good evening, Mr. Robertson. I thought you weren't speaking to me. Ah, well, no. No one can say that I would ever hold a grudge, Mayor. I I might consider that you are an unpleasant and grudge-holding man, but I am not the one to let you know it, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. No, oh. so bygones are bygones, and what happened between us last week is bygone. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't have a chair. That corner one's the least comfortable. <clears throat> well... Thank you, thank you. I'll pick another. Nice evening, isn't it? Oh, wonderful evening. Lovely evening. Reminds me of my summer evenings when I used to serenade my wife. That hmm. was before we were married, of course. <laughs> oh, after the ball was over... You, you, you mean she heard you sing and then married you? Uh, well, pardon me, Mayor, but there are those who consider that I have a rather good voice. Uh, I suppose so. I suppose it takes all sorts to make a world. <laughs> well, of course, you're not going to make me mad, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of losing my temper. <laughs> you're just mean enough not to. <laughs> well, you're trying hard, though, aren't you, really? <laughs> uh, Mayor, I came over to talk to you about Susie. Have you seen her lately? No, why? Well, Mayor, something's happened to Susie. She isn't Papa's little girl anymore. How do you mean? Well, she says she's in love, Mayor. She says she's going to run away and get married. Ah, oh, well, I wouldn't worry much about that. Oh, but she's getting letters, passionate letters, and flowers. Who from? Well, now that is the most incredible part of it all. It's Colin Randolph. Colin Randolph? Oh, the movie star? The very same. Who had she meet him? Well, it happened in Milwaukee when she was visiting her aunt a few weeks ago. Oh. He was there for a bond drive. Hmm. Oh, Mayor, I'm very worried. I'm asking your help, sir. Well, I'll talk to her, but I don't think the situation's anything to be alarmed about. <laughs> I was going to elope with a bareback rider when I was 17. <laughs> Nothing ever came of it. Where is Susie? Uh, she's in the library. All right, I'll, I'll go right over and talk to her. Susie, what are you doing? Hmm? Oh, just thinking. Hmm. Whose picture's that you're looking at? Oh, I see. Colin Randolph. What does it say on it? <sighs> to Susie. With sincere regards from yours truly, Colin Randolph. Hmm. Oh, isn't that wonderful, Mayor? He's mine truly. Isn't hmm. that disgusting? Oh, you get out of here, Joe Robertson. I don't have to. This is just as much my house as yours. Look at that black dress, Mayor, and the way she has her hair pulled up. She looks like a pig chicken. I do not. She hopes everyone will think she's 20. What's wrong with acting your age? Joe Robertson, if you don't stop, I'm going to have Pa make you do all the beds for a week. I put it up to you, Mayor. Don't you think she looks terrible? And you know why she has her hair that way? Because Colin Randolph's last leading lady wore her hair up. 
Oh, Joel, have you finished clearing the table? Why bring that up? Well, have you? No, not quite. Well, then you'd better finish, or I'll call Papa. Oh, all right. Kitchen stuff. Women's work. <laughs> so you fall in love, Susie, huh? Eh? Oh, you know I'm grown up, don't you, Mayor? I'm plenty old enough to be in love, aren't I? Of course you are. <laughs> you know, I've already put my girlhood behind me. Inside, I've been a woman for a long time now. I walk down the street and someone ahead walks the way he does and, oh, my heart stops for a moment. Or someone says his name and, oh, gosh, it makes me want to cry. Why, I remember every word he ever said to me. I remember every gesture, every expression. Isn't that disgusting? Oh, Joe Robertson, you get out of here. I remember every gesture, every expression. Oh, brother. Hmm. Honestly, Mayor, even if he is my brother, sometimes I want to shake his teeth loose. <laughs> oh, Susie, he's just teasing. Oh, but, Mayor, this is sacred, and I don't want... Well, 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 what's going on in here? <laughs> oh, hello, Pop. The Mayor and I were just talking. Oh, I was just talking to Jerry, Susie, and do you know what Jerry says? Jerry says he doesn't believe you even know Colin Randolph. What? Is that true, Susie? Are you just trying to plague Papa? Oh, gee, doesn't anyone understand? Don't you, Mayor? Oh, I think so. Young girls like to pretend. Pretend? Why well, not pretend? Yeah, uh, tut, 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 Susie, don't uh, watch your temper. Just watch your temper. I don't want to have to send you to bed, you know. Where is your brother Joseph? Joe's in the kitchen. All right, Susie, you can reach me there, too, if anybody wants me. Oh, all right, Pop. <laughs> Sit down beside me. You know, Susie, I raised a little girl of my own, and I remember once when she built up quite a romance with a Methodist minister. She used to go to church just to get a look at him, and then she'd come home and say, I'm going to marry the minister. I think she really believed it until the minister's wife and two children arrived. Oh, you think I'm just a kid, too. Well, I hope you are. Don't grow up too fast, Susie. You have a lot of dancing to do yet and a lot of having fun. Oh, but gosh, Mayor, I've had all that. No, 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 not all of it, you haven't. You're going to go to college next year and you're going on picnics and sleigh rides and you're going to fall in love three or four times. And then, after all that's happened, everything will narrow down to one face and one heart. And you may feel poetic about the violets, but you won't be able to talk about it. Oh, you're talking to me as though I were only 16. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's less difference between 16 and 17 than you think. Hi, Mayor. Hello, Susie. Hello, Jerry. Oh, hello, Jerry. Class meeting over? Yeah. Hey, you got the school buzzing, Susie. Yes, and I heard what you said, that I was just pretending, Jerry Turner, and I'll thank you to mind your own business. I'll be glad to, Miss Robertson. And when you come right down to it, I don't believe you even know Colin Randolph. Oh, no? Well, then where do you think I got these flowers and candy and letters and things? Probably sent them to yourself. Oh, now, son, that's not a very gallant remark. Well, if I saw ever anyone act juvenile, it's you, Susie. Me? Most of the rest of us went through the crush act when we were oh. 14. Crush act? I'll have you know I'm going to marry Colin Randall. Susie. What? That's what I said. I'm going to marry him. And you can put that in your pipe and smoke it. Well, if you're engaged, where's your ring? Well, I'll have one. Don't you worry. I'll have one. I'll show you. Well, you... You weren't very nice, Jerry. Well, gee, I didn't know they were really engaged. I'm sorry. I thought she was just kidding. Well, I'll make it up to her. Really, I will, Mayor. I'll make all the kids pipe down, and I know just how to do it, too. Oh, all right, Jerry. I, I think it might help if, if everyone stopped kidding her. I'll fix it, sir. They'll stop kidding. I'll fix it. Night's nice paper. Susie Robertson's actually engaged to Colin Randolph. Isn't she lucky? Can you imagine the little Robertson girl? It says they met in Milwaukee. We must have her over some night. I told you to be nicer to that Susie Robertson, Wilbur. You could be going around with her yourself if you listen to Mother. Mayor, did you see this? Susie Robertson engaged to a movie star. It's all over town. Hello, Mayor. Hello, Susie. Sit down. I just came over to say goodbye. Goodbye? Well, where are you going? Oh, I don't know. Just away someplace where no one knows me. 
suppose you tell me about it, Susie. It's Colin Randolph. <laughs> I, mean, I kind of figured out it might be. Oh, Mayor, I don't even know Colin Randolph. I knew you didn't, Susie. <laughs> oh, Jerry was right. I did send those letters and flowers to myself. I even went without lunches to get the flowers, and, and I stood in line at the Emporium in Milwaukee to get the autograph. He spent an afternoon there signing them. Why'd you do it, Susie? Well, I just kind of drifted into it somehow, I guess. See, everyone was writing me about being a little girl at home, and, oh, I got sick and tired of it. And I just happened to say that Colin Randolph didn't think so, and, well, from then on, I was in the fire. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going away. Oh, I don't think that's necessary, Susie. But they'll all expect me to marry him. No, they won't. You can change your mind. That That's a well-known feminine prerogative. Gee, gee, I never thought of that. I guess I could. Sure you can, sure. Now suppose that... Hey, Mayor, uh, Mayor! Uh, in the library, Jerry. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, what do you think? Hey, Susie, aren't you excited? What about? Your boyfriend's in town. What? Uh, it's in all the papers. Isn't that a break? Oh, gee. Now everyone can meet him and you'll be sitting pretty. Oh, uh, oh unhappy life. What's the matter with you two? Well, things don't look so good. Things do not look good. Oh, golly, Mayor. Yeah. Mr. Randolph could have me put in jail, couldn't he? Oh, isn't there a word for what I've done? Well, well there are several, Susie. Susie, Susie, that was Colin Randolph. <laughs> he called your house and they switched him over here. Oh, no. He's coming out right now to see you. Once upon a time, there was a soap named Rinso. Its full name was Soapy Rich Rinso, but we'll just call it Rinso for short. Sure, just call me Rinso, bud. I don't mind. But spell it right, get me? R-I-N-S-O. Okay, Rinso. You recognize the name, folks? It's the soap that gets clothes. That's me, all right. Do I get clothes, what? And do I get around? Why, one lady I know says my sides must be made of rubber. I stretch so far. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> sure, when it comes to suds, Rinso really has the stuff. I got a million of them. <laughs> <laughs> and every last sud does its job. Why, even in hardest water, a little of the new Rinso dissolves into a mountain of suds. Suds that get your clothes Rinso white. Beep, beep, beep. Get it? <laughs> and Rinso suds have a dual personality. Tough on the grease and grime in hubby's work shirts and overalls. Let me at that doid on void of it. But gentle as a lamb to your colored washables and precious tablecloths. Don't worry, lady. I'll take care of your clothes. They'll last longer. So when you buy soap, remember, Rinso gets your clothes. Yes, sir, Rinso white. And besides, new Rinso goes farther. And now back to the mayor of the town, starring Lionel Barrymore, with Jane Withers as Susie, Charlie Ruggles as Mr. Robertson, and Edgar Barrier as Colin Randolph. Oh! Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm looking for a Miss Robertson, a Miss Susie Robertson. Well, come right in, Mr. Randolph. Oh, you know who I am. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, sir. I, I saw your last picture, Mission to Love. Oh, that one. Uh, yes, the other night. Uh, you know, Mr. Randolph, I uh, I don't understand why you didn't marry the girl in that. It seems so sad she had to suffer. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, but uh, you see, I didn't really love her. Oh. Poor child. Well, then, you should have been ashamed leading her on like that. <laughs> I do not write the scripts. I only play in them. Oh. Where is Miss Robertson, please? Uh, uh, she's in the library with the mayor. Come on, right this way. Here's Mr. Randolph, Mayor. Mr. Oh, Holman. yes, yes, Mr. Randolph. Ah, uh, is this my betrothed? Beloved, come to my arms. Oh, me? <laughs> still as charming, still as wholly lovely, my Susie. My little white dove, Susie. Pardon me, but I think you've got the wrong dove. <laughs> oh, how can you jest at a time like this? How can you make light of our moment of reunion? It hasn't been so long since I held you in my arms like this, since I kissed you. Uh, well, it was awfully nice to have met you, Mr. Randolph, but I think I'd better go now. Uh, goodbye. Oh, no, no, you're not going to leave me. You're never going to leave me again. 
You can't imagine how desolate Milwaukee was for me after you left it. Mayor, he's crazy. <clears throat> oh, crazy, yes, perhaps. But isn't any man who pursues a dream? And you are my dream, little Susie, mine. <coughs> Does anyone mind if I open the window? <laughs> Look, Mr. Randolph, why are you putting on this act? Act? Hasn't my little precious told you about us? She's told everybody else. Yeah, well, I can explain that. You see... Oh, Mayor, <laughs> you don't need to explain my Susie to me. Does he, Susie? No, he doesn't. Well, I must run now. I'm autographing pictures in the Springdale department store this afternoon. But I'll pick you up at your house tonight at 8 o'clock, Susie. And we'll have some dinner and go to the ball the Kiwanis are giving. Well, mm. I'll, I'll have to ask Papa... <laughs> Susie, you're a woman now and betrothed. It's no longer necessary to ask Papa. I'll, I'll pick you up at eight. Well, goodbye, my chérie, for now. Goodbye, Mayor. Ah, Susie, my sweet. You were a princess in Milwaukee, but in Springdale, you're a queen. Adieu. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Rando. Bye. Oh, oh, oh. Uh... I was just uh, polishing the doorknobs. The, the doorknobs? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'll see you out, Mr. Randolph. Thank you. Uh, this is all very peculiar. Oh, Mayor, just think he remembers me from Milwaukee. Oh, isn't that wonderful? And all I did was stand in front of him and say, May I have your autograph, Mr. Randolph? Oh, Papa always said there was no such thing as love at first sight, but, oh, Papa doesn't know Mr. Randolph. Or the Milwaukee department store in Maine. Oh, gee. Mm -hmm. Marilly? Yes, Mayor? Yeah, get out my dress suit, will you? I'm going to the Kiwanis Marathon tonight. <laughs> Dance like an angel. Oh, so do you, Cole. Oh, gee, everyone's looking at it. Oh, yeah, sweet child. Oh, isn't that music beautiful? Yes, it is beautiful. And you're beautiful. Oh. And I feel 20 again. Or maybe even 17. And I feel very old. And very glamorous. And very much in love. Oh. With my first orchids in my hair. And my heart in my first love's arms. Hmm. How young you are. How very young. Mr. Mayor. Why, Mr. Robertson, what are you doing here? I'm in a dress suit, too. Well, as soon as I can get my breath, I'm going to punch a man in the nose, Mayor. Right square in the nose. I don't often fly off the handle, but I'm going to fly off as soon as I see him. Here, here, stand still. I'll tie your tie. Why are you feeling so pugilistic about it? Just stand still. Oh, I'm dancing with rage. I'm simply dancing. I've never been so affronted. I'm going to line him right up with my fist like this, and then I'm going to swing back and mess up that pretty profile. Hey, watch where you're swinging. Well, I've got glasses on. What's wrong with you? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong with me. I was over at Clarence's pool hall. Huh? I just dropped in, mind you, to find out what time of day it was. Oh, yeah. And there were a couple of men in there talking to Clarence about this Colin Randolph. Mm -hmm. And it seems, it seems, Mayor, that there's a little hanky-panky going on. That's what... Uh-huh. How's that? Well, it seems that Mr. Colin Randolph has a lady friend in Hollywood who has been quite insistent that he marry her. Uh. She's been chasing him all over the country. Isn't that ridiculous, man? <laughs> well, he couldn't get rid of her, so when he met Susie, he decided to use her to get rid of the other woman. Mm. That's why he's been so nice to Susie. Uh. Now, now, what does that make, my daughter? Uh, what's the feminine gender of goat? <laughs> uh, quite so, quite so. And now, sir, if you will take your hand off of my arm, I will proceed with the business of the evening. No Hollywood glamour boy is going to break my daughter's heart before I break his head. Now, now, now look, Mr. Robertson, suppose you let me handle this. No, I want to. I want to punch that man in the nose, man. Well, now, you, you go home and think about it and leave this to me. But I... Now, I'll speak to Mr. Randolph after this day. But now, I... you go run along. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll go. But don't think I'm not going to brood about this. And I tell you, if you don't straighten that man out, I warn you, I'm going to run amok. Yeah. Now then, Mr. Randolph, I think you've just about come to the third act curtain of this little farce. Why, what do you mean? 
Susie's a little star-struck girl. She made up a hero for herself and unfortunately gave him your name. The fact that it got in the papers was a regrettable accident. The fact remains, Mayor, that we're engaged. Now, you wouldn't like me to embarrass the girl by saying she made the whole thing up, would you? Mr. Randolph, would your fans like to think that you were willing to hurt a young girl to get out of an unfortunate romantic tangle of your own? Oh, you couldn't do that. Uh, but you could, couldn't you? Uh, yes. Yeah. Very well. I will terminate the engagement. I didn't mean to hurt the child, Mayor. I guess I just didn't think how she'd feel about it. Well, then let her end the engagement, will you? I'll tell you what you do. Now, after the dance, we'll go somewhere for some coffee. <laughs> I feel you should know these things about me, Susie. And uh, I have a terrible temper. And I'm very impatient. Oh, but I won't mind that. Sometimes I may even strike you. Oh, well, then I'll hit you back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he wears a toupee, too, Susie. A toupee? Did you have to tell her that? He's, he's 33 years older than you are. 32. Well, anyway, I like older men. Hmm. Who wants a young man who's never lived? Uh, I... <laughs> I wanted to be open with you, Susie. Now, you should know the worst. I'm an unpleasant, bad-tempered, sharp-tongued, evil person. Oh. And he's old, too, Susie. Quit harping on that. But he can be young with me. Oh, now, Colin, you're the man I love and the man I'm going to marry. Nothing is going to change that. Nothing. Nothing? Oh, nothing ever. Oh, Mayor. Well, I, 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 I think we all better go home now. It's getting late and Susie should be in bed. Let's sleep on this matter. Yes, you'll probably be able to sleep, you Judas. <laughs> oh, good night, my love. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Hmm? But we shall meet again when it be morrow. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, double, double, toil and trouble. Fire, burn, and death, where is thy sting? <laughs> Don't worry, Colin. Just relax and let things take their normal course. It's all going to work out. Susie, you must try and make Colin a part of your life. Ask him if he wouldn't like to go to the high school dance tonight. But, Colin, it's going to be a jitterbug dance. Oh, I'm sorry, Susie, but after last night's dance, I'm staying in my hotel room with an electric pad. Colin's only going to be here a few more days, Susie. Maybe he'd like to go on the senior class picnic. Oh, but Colin, the senior class picnic only comes once in a girl's lifetime. A picnic? Oh, no, Susie. Ants all over, bugs, damp grass. No, I'd catch my death of cold. Well, Susie, maybe he'd like to go on a hayride. I think it sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> and we'll ride in the moonlight and everyone will sing and then we'll have a weenie roast and, oh, it'll be such fun. Susie, hay is scratchy. It's very cold out yet and burnt weenies are very unpleasant. Oh, but, Colin, you don't like to do anything. No, I don't. I'm very unpleasant, really. Susie has something to say to you, Colin. Go ahead, Susie. Well, well, it's just that, that, oh, I don't think we're suited to one another. No? Uh, no. You see, Colin, we live in different worlds, you and I. We bridge the worlds with a glance, with a sigh, with a kiss. Or thought we did, but the bridges weren't strong enough to hold the dreams we sent across them. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry to hurt you, but I must be cruel to be kind, because there is no future for you and I together. Goodbye, Colin. Remember me sometimes, won't you? Remember that I loved you and was strong enough to leave you. Goodbye. She's gone. Yes, and a beautiful exit, too. Yes, wasn't it? But you know, that sounded very familiar, as though somebody said it to me before. <laughs> you mean you didn't recognize it? Oh. <laughs> I'll say someone said almost exactly that to you before. <laughs> the girl who wore her hair on top of her head in that last picture. You... What? You're right. You're absolutely right. Huh. Little vixen. 
And she stole the scene, too. <laughs> I stood right here and let her steal the scene. You know, I had some lines in that, too, in the original. Yeah, hey, not in this one, though. No, no, this was Susie's scene. Her first love scene. It was all hers and always will be to cherish and remember. Thank you for letting her play it, Mr. Randolph. You could have heard her pretty badly. You know, Mayor, in my own way, I'm grateful to Susie. She's 17, and she paid me the very high compliment of falling in love with me. And I shall always love her for that. <laughs> Spoken like an actor, sir. Spoken like an actor. Well, uh, good night, Mr. Randolph. We'll be watching for your pictures. Good night, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Well, hello, Mayor. Going our way? Pop came along, and I told him I was waiting for you, so he decided to wait, too. Here, Mayor, have an ice cream cone. Oh, thanks. Uh, Susie told me about breaking Mr. Randolph's heart. <laughs> well, I knew things would straighten out. I, I don't believe in permitting oneself to get upset, really. Uh, you certainly have convenient lapses of memory. Huh? Oh, that's... Uh, um... <clears throat> uh, well, what does it matter to you as long as everything works out? Oh, say, Pop. What? Uh, I've been thinking. You know, uh, I'd like to become a Presbyterian. Oh, huh? yes? Yeah, well, that's nice. That's nice, Susie. I, um, I just saw their new minister in the drugstore, and, oh, boy, I always did think I'd like to be a Presbyterian anyhow. Oh, dear. Oh, my, it's a darn shame. What is, Mayor? I thought you were vaccinated, but it didn't take. Did oh, dear. It? Oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. I don't suppose I have to remind you that these days, somehow those laundry hampers look fuller than ever. Well, now you know your laundry list better than I do, but look, no need to stew about it, not as long as you have new soapy rich Rinso to make a cinch of wash day. After all, only Rinso is recommended by the makers of 33 leading washers, including the famous Hot Point. And with no new washers for the duration, it's more important than ever now to take care of yours. The makers of Hot Point washers suggest you use Rinso to get clothes sparkling with as, with as little as a five-minute run. That saves wear and tear on clothes as well as on your washer. Remember, new Rinso is the best Rinso ever made. Be sure to be with us again next week at this same time when the makers of Rinso again present The Mayor of the Town, starring Lionel Barrymore. Mr. Barrymore can currently be seen in the MGM picture Dr. Gillespie's Criminal Case. Jane Withers is now filming the Goldwyn production North Star. Edgar Barrier, who played Colin Randolph, may soon be seen in the Walter Wanger Universal production We've Never Been Licked. Our script was written by Gene Holloway. This is Harlow Wilcox speaking for the makers of the new Rinso, bidding you all a very pleasant good night. You know what annoys me most about people? What? B.O. Then play safe yourself. Never offend. Take a daily bath with Life Boy. It'll really clean you up and pep you up. And that rich Life Boy lather washes away dirt and perspiration. From head to toe, it stops... B.O. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System.